Welcome guys to my Magic Knifeblade PvE guide for the High Eye. I got different setups for you for dungeons, trials and solo content like MSA, Attachment Arena and of course for high-end content players with the stronger setup. Let's start with the dungeon, trial boss and trash builds. As body set, Basis is the best choice for maximum DPS, unbeatable. 12% extra flat damage is even after the 3% nerf, best in slot for the most trial and dungeon content. Problem about Basis is you need to keep your Magicka as slow as possible for the entire fights. The new light armor trial set, Veral of Deaths, works as good alternative, no resource management required and DPS wise more or less the same. For pure static boss fights even better. For beginners or players without DCs or the opportunity to farm those tricets, I recommend to use Mana Sorrow. It gives a ton of crit rate, perfectly made for Nightblade, which benefits the most of crit, with passive like pressure points for extra crit rate, and hemorrhage with 10% extra unique crit damage. As front per set, Zuckwin is definitely the best choice, with the high amount of crit rate and minor falls extra 10% crit damage the way to go for every dungeon and try content. Easy to play and you got on top one extra slot on your bar, skills like bar trip and chant excavation. I use this with the set. The light armor shield or an extra dot can be slotted without losing a relevant amount of damage. The most used set, Kinras, works of course too, with major berserk and minor berserk for your groupmates, insanely strong. And the heavy armor trial set Advanced Yokida is in terms of pure single target damage probably even better than both, but gives no support benefit and you need to play melee since there are no ranged weapons available for the set because of the proc condition which requires martial melee damage. For beginners or non DLC sets I recommend to use the heavy armor dungeon set Medusa, easy to get in the dungeon arcs Corinium. Same like Zogwin, it gives an extra skill slot with guaranteed minor force. Or New Moon Acolyte, a craftable set with a ton of weapon damage. Mythic items, the best choice for every DPS class is still Harpoon's Waiting Killed. They try to nerf it many times, but with 10% extra crit damage and over 1k crit rate, astonishing strong for a one set piece. Alternative to New Mythic Shoulder, Mora's Whispers is nice too. With over 1.5k crit rate, really strong, and experience bonuses of 10% increase inspiration, alliance rank, alliance skill, and 15% monster kill experience, kinda nice, but you need to have all of those Shalido books in your library. For pure glass cannon damage, go with Thashion. It gives over 1.1k spell damage with 50 stacks, but reduces your HP by 120 each stack, and the shield size by 1% each stack. For beginners or for non-mythic players, the old school 2 monster set solution is viable too, with 2 Kiana for the more single target damage, 2 Selene, Stormfist, Gostar, Valkyrie Scoria, Zahn, Velidrit, there are more than enough options for different boss fights. As spec bar weapon, I prefer to use the Milesum Inferno stuff over the 2H Greatsword. The playstyle with unstable wall on the back bar and the possibility to stay in range with Inferno Light attacks are way more comfortable to play than the 2H, but definitely slightly less DPS for the most dungeons or trials, so it's up to you to choose. For beginners, go with the Willpower Inferno stuff if the Malsum Arena is not accessible or too hard for you. Many options in terms of trash setups. I'll show you my favorite and strongest one, the light armor dungeon set burning spare with on the back bar for extra spare damage, the medium armor trial set Zulxan on the front bar for extra crit damage and crit rate, with one kilt and two pieces of Gosta for the most AoE damage. This setup is mainly used by any high-end PvE content player, even score pushers, but also perfectly made for every dungeon, trial and arena content like Dragon's Arena. Alternative instead of Zulxan, go with Acuity with guaranteed crit rate, still strong in some burst situations. Problem is only the long cooldown. 
even for beginners, easy obtainable with a QTS craftable set, burning spare weave, farmable in Seed of Ash 1 or 2, Grostar gettable in Vaults of Madness, and instead of killed, you can go with 2 willpower. Next up are some solo content builds for the Milestone, Vatashon Arena, or for badass players, which can clear dungeons even solo. There are many options also here. I mainly use Barzais for Milestone and the Vatashon Arena, probably the most damage. Mother Sorrow works fine too, and False God if you have sustain issues. Front body depends on the bosses or trash. I've seen some builds with acuity still for the maximum burst damage in really short fights. Or still Zogwin, Kidneras with enough time to build up stacks. A spec set Master Architect with Major Slayer. But make sure to be in combat before you drop your back bar ultimate, otherwise you will not get the Slayer buff. They changed it a couple of patches ago, all the pre buff thingy is sadly gone. Burning Spell Wave is a good option too, or Clever Alchemist for tremendously high spell damage for even shorter fights, pretty good. A Smithic item, Thrashy and Strangler, the best choice for pure damage, Death Dealer's Feet for a more defensive playstyle, or Mora's Whispers should be fine too. Killed is not viable, you would directly lose 5 sticks after you get hit by any direct hit, so basically every light attack. Monster sets depends on your playstyle, with Ice Heart is one of my favorite ones for solo content. The one set piece bonus with crit fits in very well and the crazy big shield with even slightly re damage is lovely. For pure damage probably Kiana, Grosta, Zahn, Veli, Celine are good choices. Arena weapons like MSA, Black Rose or Master Weapon could fit in too, but the most boss fights or stage waves are extremely short. That's why I prefer Insta Proc or Burst Sets. I will link you all trash and boss setups in the description below. Check it out. Now we'll show the best in slot PvE build for end content like trial score pushes or DSA arena score pushes, that kind of stuff, or even dungeons for triple achievements. The new trial proc set, the World of Deaths, is similar to Reliquin, really powerful, did almost 8k single target DPS, and the second proc is AoE, so pretty cool. Alternative, instead of deaths, you can use Baza still. It's more or less the same DPS, but for Bazas you need a good resource management, otherwise it's not worth it. For more AoE and, and dynamic boss fights, Bazas is probably better than deaths because of the second proc effect. The second proc effect of deaths is completely static, so if a boss, for example, ports around like a Cloud Rest, kinda useless if the proc stays on the old position, it will not hit the target. Then as Mythic, of course, Harpoon is waiting killed, even with the nerf, best in slot, and one slime core, just for extra crit rate. I'm on two medium and five light armor pieces, penetration is not a problem on night blades, we have more than enough. Then front bar, Kinras, for major berserk and minor berserk, still probably even better than advancing Yokida, just because of the group benefit of minor berserk. So you don't care about the combo prayer uptime. With full spare damage or weapon damage, depends on your group. If you have a DK, then go with weapon damage. If you have a Templar with spare damage, if you have both, then it doesn't matter. Two daggers for extra crit weight. Nurn charge, still best in slot with flame and poison chant. And back bar, the Mites of Perfected Greatsword, still better than the Inferno stuff. Keep in mind, Stampede and Mercer's Charge, the Mars and Proc are both AoE damage, so don't worry about the AoE damage. But if you prefer an Inferno, go with the Mars and Inferno stuff. DPS wise, 3 to 4k less. Skills, Debilitate, a strong dot, which also applies Minor Magicka Steel, helps for sustain for your groupmates too, and it gives passively 8% more Max Magicka just slotted. 
then impale our execute. Elemental weapon is spammable. If we only have one healer in your group, like in 12 men, try content if you go for score, like in Claudius Asylum, then go with the other spammable. Where is it? Here, Swan of Soul, for self heal. Then you could put out Debilitate for something else, like Daddy Cloak, for a little bit more damage. With Sword of Soul, we would have the 8% max magicka slotted. We would not need debilitate. Then Mercer's Resolve, our bow proc, Barb Trap for Minor Force, Incap as ultimate. We definitely need Incap for the extra sustain. Backward Stampede, Twisting Path, Degeneration. In raids you could probably even slot orbs if you can sustain it for a little bit more damage. Siphoning attacks our flex bot with no sustain issues. You could slot a shield like damp magic or harness magicka. Then dark shade and incap again just slotted for the extra crit rate. Race high off, best in slot, 2k max magicka, weapon spell damage and a little bit more sustain. Stamina and magicka depends on which resource is lower. Mundus the thief for extra crit rate. Ghastly Eyeball as buff food. In raids, if you really have sustain, then you can even go with the Biased food or the green Max Magicka food. But Magicka Nightblades has really bad sustain, even with siphoning attacks. That's why I mainly use Ghastly Eyeball, even in raids or dungeons. At view point 64 in Magicka, of course. And potions. The spare power potions of sorcery, prophecy, and Max Magicka. CPs, blue ones, deadly aim, mastered arms, war for strikes and backstabber. War for strikes is slightly better now than Taumaturge or Biting Hour, since those CPs got nerfed from 10 to 6%. Also backstabber got nerfed by the way from 15 to 10% critical damage. Red CPs, Rejuvenation, Fortified, Bonus Vitality and Celerity. Let's talk about the pre-buff rotation. Start with Janet Acceleration for Minor Force, then swap back to Degeneration, manually or with an add-on. Use Mercer's Resolve with Dark Shade and Siphoning Attacks, followed by Stampede into Twisting Path, Degeneration, then Bar Swap and use Incap, followed by the Empowered Bow Proc with Debilitate, and then use Elemental Weapon as Spammable. For more information about the rotation, check out an older video where I explained it deeper. I will link it in the description below. Now I will show you two passes on the left with World of Deaths, on the right with Barzais. Both did similar damage, so it's up to you to choose which one fits in more in your playstyle. I will leave you here. Thanks for watching. If you want to support me, give the video a like, sub my channel, and a comment below. It really helps. Peace.